The Blacklist is an American television crime series thriller that was created by John Bokenkamp and stars James Spader, Megan Boone, Diego Klatinov, Ryan Agold, uh, Harry Lennox, Amir Arison, Mozan Morrow, and Hisham Tafik. And the show premiered with its first season on NBC September 23, 2013 and ran for 10 seasons. And the series finale was July 12, 2023. It tells the story of James Spader's character, Raymond Reddington, who is one of the most wanted fugitives on the FBI's most wanted list. Well, at the start of this first episode of the very first season, he turns himself in. And when he turns himself in, he wants to speak with Elizabeth Keene, who is an FBI profiler, but also she has a backstory. Other than that, we have Ryan Agold in the first season who plays Tom Keen from seasons one through five. We have Dembe Zuma, who is Reddington's right-hand man and has been with him since he was young. And basically, the entire story and the original storyline from seasons one through eight, we kind of get a backstory of who Elizabeth is, who Reddington is, what is the connection between the two of them. And all the while, Reddington is working with the FBI task force or the Reddington task force basically kind of an underground kind of task force where Reddington kind of assists them into hunting down and capturing the most wanted fugitives all over the world in which he calls the blacklist there are over 200 names on this list and all of the 200 names are kind of given and said all through these 10 seasons now the thing is, is that there have been big cameo stars in this playing certain blacklisters and it's really really fun you'll see one blacklister in one season and they return a few seasons later to all cover up the story and sometimes it's part one or two but it's really really done really really well and then we have the kind of interesting storyline the things that happen after season eight with season nine and ten and season ten being the series finale uh this se uh, this series was absolutely mind-blowing from start to finish james spader is the one that drove this show along i mean 10 seasons over 200 plus episodes what more could you want it's set in the area of washington dc new york city new jersey pennsylvania virginia maryland all up and down the east coast all the while sometimes all around the world in certain other exotic locations and just the demeanor of who Raymond Reddington is he's a master criminal and he is just that egocentric man who you love to hate but you're rooting for even though you know he's a bad guy what show do you know that has a bad guy that you root for I mean if this show had anybody else in the title role as Reddington or you know uh, other than James Spader I don't believe this show would have been run for 10 seasons there was some kind of confusion of who is Reddington what is he what is Elizabeth Keene who actually she is what is the connection and the whole aspect of the back and forth the aspect of you know can you trust him can you not trust him and every situation he gets into and he gets out of is great his criminal network and his criminal empire is probably the biggest in any tv show character history and by saying that i mean like he really knows what he's doing he doesn't give a shit he will kill you on the spot no remorse but he just you know has a soft spot as well and you do see that in certain seasons and in certain episodes of this show there are some characters on this show where it was like okay you're annoying you need to stop and what's going to happen are they going to write them off well you know some characters are written off or killed off and then they return so many seasons later or a few episodes later each season has its own way of doing things and the shortest season was uh season seven which had 19 uh episodes and the most uh season episode was at season three which i believe is the best season of this show which had 23 episodes all the other seasons had 22 episodes and all the seasons are on netflix to binge watch if you've never seen this show in the last 10 years check this out i don't think i've been committed to a show for an entire decade by just seeing what it is and i feel like james spader's character of raymond reddington is what brought me into this show is what was the driving force and what kept me 
interested and entertained throughout the entire 10 years. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant and mind-blowing that how the writers and the creators really push the envelope with certain things and how the twists and the turns happen. Like I said, you see a lot of cameo appearances by actors and actresses that you're like, oh, wow, they're playing this? Okay. Some of them are enemies some of them are allies to Raymond Reddington and even so you know like you kind of find that uh, Harold Cooper the assistant director of the FBI counterterrorism division is kind of a friend to Reddington as well but you know he has friends in high places he doesn't have friends in high places and just the aspect of the quick writing is great the show which was televised on NBC ran for an hour but if you watch it on Netflix it's close to 40 to 50 minutes long quick binge watch it's great i absolutely adored this show and when you go into the aspect of how the show create was created the development that went into it and the casting and you know who you thought would have been interested in it well i will say that um kind of in a way that um the other the creator john eisendrath and uh bogenkamp kind of wanted Kiefer Sutherland, Brian Cranston, Pierce Brosnan, and Richard Gere to apply for the role of Raymond Reddington. And kind of in an interview, uh, Variety, in an interview, Variety interview, Bogan Camp told about his intentions to cast Sutherland for the role, but uh, kind of Sutherland didn't take it, Kiefer Sutherland didn't take it, so he passed it on to his good friend, James Spader. So could you imagine this show with either Kiefer Sutherland, Brian Cranston, and Pierce Brosnan, or Richard Gere? Like, that's amazing. And I don't think it would have ran for 10 seasons. And it's absolutely mind-blowing to see. This was a fantastic, phenomenal show from start to finish. James Spader is not really known for doing long television series. And the other television series that he did was Boston League with William Shatner. Uh, that ran for, I believe, less than eight seasons. Uh, but this is, I feel like, is the longest. I'm really curious to see what he's going to do next in TV or movies. I mean, he had that break between the Blacklist where he did Age of Ultron, Avengers Age of Ultron. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens next, where it goes. And I didn't mind the ending at all, the series finale. It's the whole aspect of the the bull and what he was into and what he wanted some might say it was an easy way out but listen if you understand what this character went through through all 10 seasons and how he evolved it's just interesting to see how everything played out and how everything came together like i said there are some characters you like some characters you don't like some blacklisters you like some you don't like but reddington was the driving force of this show the blacklist i mean it's phenomenal from start to finish for me, The Blacklist, the entire series, 10 season series, gets 5 out of 5 stars. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought about The Blacklist, if you've seen it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What do you think about the aspect of the stories, the different blacklisters? Do you think that this show would have lasted this long if James Spader was not a part of of playing the role of Raymond Reddington. Do you think that they could have went a different direction with the series at certain times? Or do you think it was just right? And what do you see James Spader doing next? And also, what rating would you give the Blacklist? Let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked. And be sure you click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel. I will see you all in the next review video. And thank you so much for tuning in.